Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott Casper. Welcome to Takedown. Well, some of the biggest names in college wrestling kick off the 2016 season this Saturday as the All-Star Classic lands in Cleveland, Ohio. As part of the annual tradition, we talked with most of the athletes on the main card, starting with a pair of returning All-Americans at 133. Let's take a listen as Big Ten rivals Zane Richards of Illinois and Eric Montoya of Nebraska go one-on-one -on -one in the Nike hot seat. As we head to November 5th, what can we expect to see uh, in a different Zane Richards? Uh, he's certainly different. He's better, you know, he's tougher, he's meaner. Uh, but for the most part, technically, you know, I can't reveal all the secrets to you, Scott. Don't want to give the, uh, the opposition, you know, so, so easily. but no, I, I'm kidding. Uh, just, you know, just, just better, better wrestling. Uh, not, no, no secrets. You know, w what you see is kind of what you get. I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy who's got a bunch of weird stuff, uh, going on with my wrestling style, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to stop me. You know, you, you live and you learn, you wrestle and you learn, compete and you learn. It's, it's, it's just experience. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I got a good room. I got a good room, got good partners. I think, you know, I've always been tough on top, but, um, I think, I think this year I'll not, not think, I, I know I'm, I'm going to get turns on, on the best guys. That That's a, that's a big thing too. So come out, get your tickets. Uh, it's going to be a great show. I'm going to put on a show. It's going to be bloodbath, fight, scrap, war, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's going to be well worth your time and your money. Next up at 141, two-time All-American Anthony Ashton will take on returning NCAA runner-up Bryce Meredith. Ashton is the only Big Ten champ in the history of Rutgers wrestling and the school's first national semifinalist since 1960. Meanwhile, Meredith reached the title round in New York City with wins over Kevin Jack, Micah Jordan, and the second seed, Joey McKenna. I think it's exciting for uh, both both of us involved in it. Uh, we never got to wrestle each other, like, like you said, so uh, you could expect some wild flurries and... Uh, we don't really know each other's tendencies, so I'm sure we're both going to let loose and there's going to be a lot of points scored during the match. Uh, ho hopefully what I'm expecting is a lot, a lot of points in my favor and not, not a lot in his, but um, I'm ready for a battle and I'm prepared. I'm prepared to go in there and whatever happens, happens. I know I'm just going to wrestle very, very hard and compete like I always compete. In a rematch from the 2016 Finals, Missouri All-American LeVon Mays will face Oklahoma State's Anthony Kalika at 149. Kalika bounced Mays from the championship side of the bracket in New York City with a 3-2 victory, a close one at that in the quarterfinals. But Mays would avenge the loss just a day later, edging Kalika 3-2 in the third place bout. Here's LeVon Mays on their seventh career meeting. To be honest, uh, in that match, I got to his legs more times than he got to mine. Um, I scored the only offensive points during the match with a reversal. Um, you know, there's there's not much that I really have to change up. The the refing in that match, I, I kind of like blamed to like the loss to to an extent. And um, you know, it, it could be good refing, it could be bad refing, but uh, I'm just gonna go out there and just wrestle how I'm, how I'm good at wrestling. And uh, you know, if if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But I'm gonna leave it all out on the mat. NC State senior Max Roscoff will make his 157-pound debut against Michigan's Brian Murphy. Roscoff finished last year with a record of 16-4 and, and a seventh-place finish at 165, while Murphy nearly reached All-America status for the second time, but came up one bout short against Roscoff's teammate Tommy Gant. I didn't even have to say anything. As soon as he showed me the email, I was like, yeah, like, I'm going. I don't care who I'm wrestling. It doesn't matter. I knew it was going to be in Cleveland this year, and it would be the first time for me to go back home and compete in front of my hometown crowd since I've been in high school. So it's been a long time coming, and so I didn't even hesitate when uh, when I got the offer. You know, I'm just trying to better myself every day. I'm not I'm try not really focused on the other guy here. Um, I I've had a really good offseason, and I've just focused on keeping my pace high. And uh, oh, the body's all healed up, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to have a good season this year, uh, hopefully injury-free. We'll take you from 165 to heavyweight after this short timeout. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Casey's General Store.
Yellow Blue wants to show you. Global energy demands are expanding at an alarming rate. Power grids in the U.S. are aging while coal plants continue to close at record rates. Utility rates are at an all-time high and there's no end in sight. If this concerns you, call Yellow Blue, delivering products and services that are not only green, but cost-effective. You can be independent, safe, and secure. We'll show you how at yellowbluetech.com. All right, welcome back. Our countdown to the All-Star Classic continues with the battle of returning All-Americans at 165. Who's it going to be? Well, Wisconsin's Isaac Jordan will take on Missouri sophomore Daniel Lewis. Lewis stormed out of the national scene as a freshman, finishing 29-6 with a Mid-American Conference title and a fourth-place finish in New York. Jordan enters his senior year with an overall record of 86-12 and and looks to become just the fifth four-time All-American ever for Wisconsin. My dad competed in the All-Star, and he... I believe he won his match and you know a tough match so I mean I'm looking I'm looking forward to competing in it and hopefully win but it doesn't really tie into the season right because it doesn't count towards the NCAA record but I th I think it still matters a lot as as far as the mental aspect of it as far as I as, as how I address the season and how I look at my opponents and where I'm at I just kind of look at it as I I have matches coming up i know that everything that i do weekly everything that i've done for months has 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 prepared me for all the matches all the all, all the competition that i have coming up so i just take everything day by day yeah i mean i know i i'm going to cleveland i'm not really thinking all that much about it right now i'm gonna go to practice and work and work myself and just continue to prepare Let's go to the main event. Returning national champ Miles Martin will make his 184-pound debut against two-time defending champ Gabe Dean of Cornell. A three-time All-American, Dean has dominated over the past two seasons, going 77-3 and with 49 bonus point wins and back-to-back -back titles at 184. Meanwhile, Martin came out of the red shirt midway through the 2015 campaign and captured his first NCAA title as the 11th seed at 174. I was excited for it. I found out they said I would possibly wrestle Gabe Dean. I wasn't sure at the time, and I was like, "Yeah, for sure. Like, I would definitely want to do it." And then uh, about a couple, like a couple weeks ago, I was talking to Tom about it, and that's they kind of discussed it as the coaches, and then talked about it with me. And I was like, "I'm excited. I want to do it. I don't see why not." You know, it's definitely going to be an adjustment for me. Guys are going to be a little bit bigger, and um, I've been trying to get my weight up right now as far as lifting and just kind of eating a good amount, but healthy. And it's going to be an adjustment. I wrestle with Kyle and a lot of the bigger guys a lot, so they're kind of giving me that look right now. But it's definitely going to be a little bit different. Just you know, just business as normal. Um, just going about you know different areas, fine tuning things, trying to get better um, in all areas. And uh, you know, we just uh, we're excited for the opportunity, and we think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Miles is obviously a great wrestler and uh, a great competitor, and I look forward to the matchup. It's going to be a battle of Bretts at 197 as Minnesota All-American Brett Farr takes on Princeton's top star, Brett Harner. Farr capped the stellar 40-4 and four season with the third-place finish at the 2016 championships, while Harner finished 36-6, and six, becoming the first All-American for Princeton since 2003. I saw him a little bit at Nationals, but I don't think ever, I don't know if he's any of the any of the other tournaments last year, so, I mean, it'll be exciting. It should be a good match between me and, and Brett, so, like, my head coach, Jacob, always says, he says, just put points up there. Who, he said, who cares if you give up a takedown or two in the first period as long as you make the other guy wrestle and create action, good things will happen. 
And we saved the biggest, the best for last in my estimation, 285. Cleveland, Ohio native Ty Walls returns home to face Wisconsin All-American Connor Medbury. Walls has been a perennial power at heavyweight and is coming off a personal best fourth place finish in New York. Medbury finished fourth in 2015, but took last season off the train for the Olympic trials. Here's two of the nation's top heavyweights and two great guys on their upcoming clash in Cleveland. I wrestled in freestyle a couple times at the University of Nationals two years ago. And then uh, we also wrestled for third and fourth at the Midland Championships. He's a guy that you have to be tactical against. He's about as like wide as a refrigerator. So there's, <laughs> it kind of limits your offense a little bit. So you have to really pick and choose your shots against a big guy like that. Plus he's, he's athletic, he's, he's fast. So he's got, a, he's got a great offense of his own too. So you just gotta, gotta wrestle a good match in order to beat him. So I think it was kind of a no brainer. This is a great event and one that I've never been to and always Always paid attention to. Obviously, it's got great matchups, so I'm looking forward to being part of it. I've wrestled him a few times in a couple different styles, so um, he's familiar, but it's also been a little bit. It's been a couple of years, and so obviously we're both we both train hard and want to improve. So I'm looking forward to it. He's a heavyweight that scores a lot of points and likes to get in a lot of wrestling positions for a big guy, which we both like to get out there and score points. And so um, I think that's good for the fans and good for the sport. Just um, the heavyweight weight class has definitely changed quite a bit. Um, kind of started when I was first got into college, and so um, keeping that aggressive style and looking to score points is definitely good for the sport. For the full schedule of bouts, including the free clinics and all the great activities at the event, go to nwcaonline.com. Tickets still available, 15 bucks, general admission, and of course the $100 preferred, which includes the social as well. We'll look forward to seeing you on the campus of Cleveland State at the Wolstein Center Saturday night, first bout, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, main event. Hey, we're just getting started. Our college wrestling coverage continues after the break. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Yellow Blue Ecotech. Stay tuned. Right now, get any large original or flatbread Supreme Pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. Cookies, sauces, and seasonings are business, but food is our passion. Our secret ingredient is cookies flavor enhancer and all-purpose seasoning. It makes pretty much everything taste better. You can use it on meats and in marinades, veggies and seafood. Try it on pasta and even popcorn. Pick up a bottle at your local grocer and enhance the flavor of your favorite foods. Cookies For more ideas and recipes, visit cookiesbbq.com. All right, welcome back. Our college wrestling coverage continues, this time on the East Coast. That's where Rutgers head coach Scotty Goodell has quietly put together one of the top teams in all of college wrestling. With nine NCAA qualifiers in the lineup, the Scarlet Knights will compete in 16 duels this year, including the battle at the birthplace at High Point Solutions Stadium. We're at the rack for the 2016-17 Rutgers Wrestling Media Day. We got a chance to hear from several other wrestlers and from head coach Scott Goodale. He says that the expectations for the season are extremely high, but the wrestlers are ready to get after it. We want to get 10 national qualifiers again, just like last year. That was an awesome accomplishment. Only three other teams did it last year. And we want to get four or five All-Americans on the podium. And we believe we can get national champs. It's kind of been a long preseason, so I think everybody's ready to go out there and compete. So I think we're all ready for uh, the East Strasburg Open. And Hopefully when that day comes, we all perform. I'm just putting everything into it this year. I just I keep telling myself every practice when I'm tired. I just keep telling myself it's my last year. 
push as hard as I can every single day and just go hard for six more months and get on that podium. Coming up, you don't really think it's going to change you, and then uh, it's your senior year and you see it's your last opportunity, and it just it just hits you like a brick, you know? And uh, I'm, I'm so much more grateful now because I do realize it's my last opportunity, so I am doing everything right. We're going to be consistently, you know, winning tournaments um, such as, uh, the, you know, Hofstra Invitational, East Strauss, but we're going to have a lot of uh, individual champs there, um, even people, even fresh, upcoming freshmen, we're going to hopefully have a lot of place winners there. And I think the overall, you know, consistency that we bring is going to be what's going to stand, make us stand out in the Big Tens. The main concept going on is just uh, to be hardworking individuals and really focusing on each technique, making sure every single uh, drill we do is right and to the best of our ability. We're going to be on a relentless pursuit till we're at the top, we're at the top nationally and at the Big Ten. We have a lot of spunk and that's what makes us Jersey wrestlers and uh, just going out there, showing out, winning matches, throwing our hands up to the crowd and, and, and just having that attitude about us. 20,000 fans are expected to be at High Point Solution Stadium on November 19th at 11 a.m. for Battle at the Birthplace. Reporting from the Rack, I'm Gene Eddie Sabatino. Another East Coast Power kicked off the 2016 year with the annual Brown and White Wrestle-Offs at Lehigh. The event featured 11 bouts, including a highly anticipated matchup between top freshman Ryan Pomerinka and returning All-American Randy Cruz. Uh, I thought guys looked pretty relaxed. Usually that's not the case during a wrestle-off. Uh, we know we had obviously got some things to work on. I think we have a couple guys uh, needing to do a little better job with their weight management. So that's something that will be our focus in the next couple weeks. No, I thought, you know, things went, they, they competed well, and it's, I think it's one of the hardest things to do is getting up to wrestle your teammate. Um, but they, they actually were more relaxed than they have been in the past, which was which is good to see, because at the end of the day, you just got to showcase what your abilities are. And, you know, I thought Gordon and Chase was probably the match of the night. I mean, those guys were a lot of fun to watch. It was good. I thought they, I, I was really pleased, you know, when 33 went out there, with you know, Nick and Joe went out and they just wrestled. It looks like they were having fun. Um, that's what we want. Like, they were very relaxed in this atmosphere, which is good to see. That, usually that first time out, you don't know what to expect. But I thought they kind of set the, the tempo for the night, so it's a pretty good night. Well, actually, they got chose by their teammates, but it was pretty much unanimous decision to have, you know, Lake Gardner, Mitch Minotti, and Drew Longo as our captains. I mean, um, they've been kind of leading this team, you know, all summer long, all fall. Um, they're just three great leaders. They're great people. You know, they're not only great wrestlers, but what they, the way what they do, what they do every day. It's not a sometime thing, they lead all the time. And that's probably the most important thing and the attributes we've been looking for from captains. We've been really fortunate the last few years to have outstanding leaders. So, you know, I'm excited for them. Yeah, we, we're not sure exactly who all we're, so we're gonna send a good, a good number of guys and uh, we still have to do some wrestle offs again this week. We've been a lot of splits. Um, so whatever we figure out that's gonna wrestle against Bucknell probably won't wrestle in that tournament since it's Sunday and a Friday turnaround. Um, we'll have to figure that out this week, but um, it's, we got we got a couple weeks to prepare and get better. But we got to do a lot of wrestle offs Wednesday, Thursday. Well, Bucknell is always a very competitive team. They come in here, they they wrestle us really hard. They always do. It's always an exciting duel. Um, we have we have to make up a lot of changes. Um, we have to be ready. I mean, we just we got to be step on that mat. And we got to treat it like it's a March match. You know, we just have to be you know be intense and and fight. Bloomsburg has a new head coach. He joins us live after the break. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Nike Wrestling. Stay tuned. The war raged for generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. The warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defense so defend what you have built. Right now, get any large original or flatbread Supreme Pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. In this arena, you're either the hunter or the hunted. A hunter needs armor. Earn the right to be a Danmar warrior. Headgear forged in the industrial north for the toughest wrestlers of all ages. Born in the US of A, work with us to make your custom headgear. Warriors take hits. 
for better breathing and vision. Stay tough with the Warrior Face Guard. Danmark. Warriors need it. Warriors earn it. All right, welcome back. Let's head to Bloomsburg, PA this time. The Huskies have a new head coach. He joins us live for the very first time. It's Marcus Gordon. Coach, thanks for the time. How are you? I'm doing great, Scott. How are you doing? Good, bud. Congratulations. You know, we've been following you for quite a while. <clears throat> Recently, of course, at Ashland, uh, you, know, you did an outstanding job there, uh, wrestling uh, for the Eagles and also as an assistant coach. But uh, you did get the phone call. You got the... Uh, or were made aware of the opportunity to be the head coach at Bloomsburg. Uh, how did that all take place? Uh, basically, Coach Mester um, that I worked with for, for three years here, he resigned uh, in early September, and I threw my hat in the ring. And, uh, you know, it was something that I'm um, looking forward to. And, uh, you know, I wanted the position. And I think uh, that uh, I'm the right guy for the for the job to keep moving this program forward in the right direction. You know, I've been here. It's a young team, but I've been – been here working with them hands on for a few years now, so I'm excited about the opportunity. I love the uh, I love the idea too of of bringing somebody up from you know from the family. I think that's a good way to put it. Uh, it was University Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Somerville, who announced your hiring uh, as the new head coach for wrestling there. It's a beautiful campus, great town, and it's in a wrestling rich uh, state like Pennsylvania. Uh, your job now is going to be to bring these this young squad up and also to to begin the search for talented and new uh, individuals to outfit the team as far as recruiting goes. Um, does being in Pennsylvania actually work to your benefit or does it work against you? Because as many as there are, there's also a tremendously large number of schools that have wrestling. Well, there's a, you know, I think it definitely helps because uh, there, there is a, a lot of great wrestlers, you know, at the high school level here that we can go after. And Bloomsburg is a beautiful school and a great, great uh, university. So it's one of those that we can attract the, the good wrestlers out of Pennsylvania here. Um, on the other hand, Bloomsburg does have, or uh, Pennsylvania does have a lot of universities uh, and also a lot of universities from outside of Pennsylvania come here to recruit. You know, so I believe it was last year I saw that there was, you know, 51 kids from from Pennsylvania that committed early to 30, right around 30 different division one programs. So, you know, Pennsylvania is recruited heavily, but you just uh, have to get out there and find the right ones that uh, are a perfect fit for Bloomsburg. Well, Bloomsburg has a rich tradition in the sport, and I know you've got uh, high, high goals for your, your squad, and one of them has got to be academics. How important is the academic tradition uh, to you in helping these kids achieve their goals? I mean, I think academics is first and foremost. You know, I look at it, you know, as a coach, you want every single one of your athletes to, you know, be a national qualifier, an All-American, national champ, whatever their, you know, ability is. But on the same hand, you know, we're educators first and foremost. And we need to make sure that the, the students that we're bringing in here, we help them achieve their academic goals and receive great grades. So well, once they graduate and they leave Bloomsburg, you know, they can uh, better themselves. So, uh, you know, my goal is to look for, look for student athletes that are going to come here um, that know that understand and take academics very seriously. You guys are going to be hosting the Bloomsburg university duels coming up on Sunday, November 6th, literally next week. I think Davidson and Keystone are on the, on the, uh, uh, the roster there for that uh, university duels, but that's a big event for you guys. It is, it is, you know, uh, we have a, a young team. Um, you know, there's good possibility. We start seven, right around seven freshmen this year. And a lot of those are redshirt freshmen that we redshirted last year. And, but it's a, uh, it's a big event to get the year rolling, you know, obviously a new coaching staff um, for the most part, uh, a lot of new faces in the lineup. So it's going to be uh, crucial to get out there and, and wrestle hard and wrestle through all positions and, and score points. And, uh, you know, after, at the end of seven minutes, uh, hopefully we get our hand raised quite a few times that day and, and get some victories for the team. Thank you. Um... Uh, Mike McFarland, Dr. McFarland, and uh, uh, Dr. Somerville, and David Soltz, and everybody at Bloomsburg for hiring a really well-rounded guy in you. Uh, it just shows their dedication to the sport uh, is very strong, and we're looking forward to seeing what you're able to accomplish there at Bloomsburg Coach. And Marcus, it's good catching up. I appreciate you taking the time to do this with us for TV. Absolutely, Scott. It was, uh, I appreciate you reaching out, out to me for the interview. 
All right, special thanks to Coach Gordon, Rutgers, Lehigh, and all the guests that joined us on the program today. Don't forget to look for us on all the social media platforms and join us live Saturday mornings for the show that started it all. For all of us in Des Moines, I'm Scott Casper. We look forward to seeing you in Cleveland and again next week right here on Takedown.